Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo. Today is August 10th and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update to Samsung One UI 5 Watch Beta Program. Now this is the fifth update of this beta program and I believe this to be very, very soon to be over with the official launch of Samsung One UI 5 Watch to be released, I believe fairly soon because the official launch of the Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic is August 11th, which is, you know, based on tomorrow as of the recording of this video. And as you're watching this video, it is now publicly, officially live in stores along with the Flip, Flip 5 and Fold 5. So, in this video, I wanna talk about two updates because there was so much going on in real life and also with this upcoming launch of the Fold 5 Flip 5 that I completely missed this update here. And this update was pushed off right around July 19th, July 20th. So if you haven't looked at any updates on your watch for the last few weeks, you might actually run into two updates just like I have. Now this first update that came out right around July 19th, July 20th, this one was a pretty big one and it fixed a few things. This size was 311 megabytes. It ended in ZWG7. Now the things that they have fixed or improved was the uh, initial speed. And so I believe that to be when you first turn on your watch for the first time. Originally it was so sluggish that was the biggest problem and issue with this watch. But here's the thing. If you don't turn off your watch, you're never going to even run into that problem. But if you are somebody who turns off your watch every day or every couple days or you restart it, then that's where you're going to see that little sluggishness of everything turning on and waiting for some of these little widgets and, and clock faces to kind of load in and, and all that good stuff. I remember when I was first trying to you know get this thing loaded in, my my little widget of all the time of the uh, the weather would take a while for it to actually pop up. But other than that, it was it was OK. But yeah, so I already did play with this. I turned it off and I can also show you in this video again the speed of it turning back on and waiting for everything to load in. It is much faster than what it was before. It also they improved the battery consumption. They fixed the brightness control error with the touch bezel. So there was a few people that actually had problems where if you go through and you tried to change the brightness of the watch with the touch, it would either be slow or actually not even responsive and it wouldn't be as accurate. So they did fix that. And then they fixed a watch face color error after update. So this was the update that happened, you know, three weeks ago. Now let's talk about the one that was just pushed off today, which is August 10th. Now this update ends in ZWH3. So if you are a part of the beta program and you haven't checked today, this is now the one you would actually be able to see. So there's major changes and improvements uh, right down here, which is uh, the fixed charging status error on quick panel. So if you're looking at your quick panel and there was the charging status error, that one was fixed. They also fixed Wi-Fi connection error, if you ever ran into that. And then they fixed the watch face synchronization error. Now this one is going to give you that it's the same security patch level. So it's, it's the same as the one we just talked about from three weeks ago or the one I just showed you here. So they both have that security patch of July 1st which means very soon we'll probably see the end of this and maybe it's gonna be the August 1st security patch for the official, I don't know, we'll see. This, this size here of the latest one is 137 megabytes and the version ends in ZWH3. Now I've already done both of these updates on my watch. Everything is working just fine. One of the things that I wanna do though is turn it off just to kind of show you what it looks like and how long it takes for it to turn on. Now you also have to keep in mind how many watch faces you have and basically I should say how many tiles you have. If there's a lot that's going on and a lot that has to, you know, update and load in, yours may take a little bit longer. And that's just, again, common sense. So I kind of left mine the way that it was from before. So I was able to compare it before these two little updates here. But yeah, if you have not taken a look at it within the last 24 hours, there should be an update if you are part of the beta program. And if you haven't checked it in three weeks, you're gonna see two updates. So just keep in mind that there's gonna be another one coming. So now that we had this thing turned off, I'm gonna go through and get it turned on. I forgot that I even didn't even turn it on as I was speaking, but here we go. I guess it's at this point in the video that I usually like to state that if you're brand new here at the Challenge Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate the latest tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. Now the whole starting up time that we just went through was about 20 seconds and that was it just going through doing the whole starting screen after it says Samsung Galaxy on it. Now it's at this point that we're kind of looking at it to see you know how long does it take for everything to come in. 
So here we go. This right here has already loaded in. That is the, the weather widget that I like to use on my clock face, which this one right here, a lot of people like to ask me, what is it called? This is called info board. And then through info board is where you choose what you want your little complications to be. So I have the weather widget in the middle. Also have the chance of rain, my battery percentage, uh, my, my pedometer, as well as the timer. So as we go through here, if I was to swipe over, it shows the notifications. It was a little slow with that swipe, but again, everything is still just kind of loading on in so that we swipe there. This one right here is still waiting to actually show what I actually did. I don't know if I did 74, so okay, never mind. 74, 74 is my true actual step. So that one was loaded correctly. The first time I did that, it would show a completely different number. And that was like the stock number, whatever it was, if it was like 8,900 steps or 9,900 steps or whatever it may be. And so now it's just kind of going through and taking a look at what the battery you know, life is. This is the battery widget right here. I can see the battery life of my watch. I can see the phone and a few other things if I'm connected to a few other things as well too. So that one's actually still loading. But the fact that I'm actually able to swipe through all of these different widgets right here, all these different tiles is, is really nice. Uh, that widget right there loaded in with the correct information. You can see that it was correct sitting over here. The time is over here. I can, I'm taking a look at my notifications. So now as I go through this, trying to go just a little bit quicker, it looks as if we were just perfectly fine. Now, if you remember watching any of my other videos with the beta program, we were actually still kind of waiting for things to, to still come in at this time. It was actually pretty crazy. So if I swipe over here, I hit the back button. There we go. That is just the animation for it. If I was to go over here, hit the home button, takes it right over here. So this is just kind of what it looks like. This is the speed of it. Again, this is me just getting it turned on, swiping through things. So again, this one for me, at least, was definitely improved. Here we go, that widget was updated here. So now I can just look at my watch and see what my phone battery is, if this thing is in a purse or a pocket or on a, on a weight stand or something like that. So even without looking at the phone, I can know exactly what my battery life is. So this was pretty much everything that I wanted to cover for this video. We've seen everything for all of the fixes just in the last couple you know, images inside of the gallery. So the biggest stuff is gonna be the charging status error and quick panel, fixed Wi-Fi connection error, fix watch face synchronization error. And then you also have that improved initial speed, which is what I was kind of testing here. Improved battery consumption. So if, you're, if your battery life was just draining, hopefully it should be better now. Fix the brightness control error with the touch bezel. I already showed you that it's working well. And fix the watch face color error after update. So again, this update was just pushed off today, August 10th. And again, I'm happy with it. They did a good job. They took away a lot of that sluggishness that was happening throughout this full entire beta. And now it's pretty much gone. This is what it should look like when you're loading in on a whole bunch of different tiles that has also a lot of information on it. Now, if you don't know where to go to find these updates, you know, sometimes you can have them come through automatically. Sometimes they don't, but you just want to go inside of your Samsung folder. Then through here, you want to go inside of your Galaxy wearable application. And then you want to make sure that you're clicking on the correct, you know, accessory. You could be with buds or with a watch as long as you see that watch 5 pro or whatever it may be then you go inside of the watch settings inside of watch settings this is where you want to go to watch software update i click this and this is where i found both of them sitting there today and hopefully you guys appreciated this video if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit and subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later